In this question, we're asked to solve for theta between 0 and 180 degrees. Tan of theta plus 35 degrees is equal to cot of theta minus 53 degrees. There are a couple of different approaches that we could take. The first one is to rewrite this in terms of tan. And we can use a trig identity to do that. We can write that cot x will be equal now to tan of 90 minus x. And we can use this identity now to put the equation in terms of tan. If you want to see that graphically, you could do. If you wanted to draw a little right angle triangle now and we can put this on, we can go ahead and just look at this identity. So say we've got now x just here. This is the angle x. Let's say this is side length a. This is side length b. This angle right here will be 90 minus x. So let's consider now cot x. Cot x is going to be equal to the adjacent over the opposite. That's going to give me a over b. If we now look at tan of 90 minus x, we're going to have the opposite over the adjacent, which is going to give me a over b. So we can see from here that cot x is equal to tan of 90 minus x. Again, you can see that graphically if you like, or you can just remember it as an identity. So we can rewrite this. We can write this now as tan of theta plus now the 35 degrees will be equal to tan. And then we're going to have now 90 minus this quantity, which is going to be theta. And then we're going to have now minus the 53 degrees. So let's just tidy this up. We've got now tan of theta plus the 35 will be equal to tan and we're going to have now 90 minus minus 53 which is going to give me 143 and then we're going to have minus theta. At this stage if we have tan of this argument equal to tan of this argument we can set the arguments equal, find a principal value and then consider subsequent solutions. We know the tan curve cycles every 180 degrees, so we find one solution and then we go ahead and add on multiples of 180. So what we can say then is the following. Let's just write this out. We've got theta plus 35 will be equal to 143 minus theta. So we're going to have 2 theta will be equal now to 108. So all I've done is added theta to both sides and subtracted 35. So we've got now 2 theta is equal to 108 and plus now n multiples of 180 degrees. So let's go ahead and list those out. So we've got 2 theta is equal to 108. We're going to have 2 theta is going to be equal now to 108 and then we're going to add for 180. So we're going to have now 288. We're interested in theta between 0 and 180. So we're interested in 2 theta between 0 and 360. So these are the only two we need to be interested in. So all we're going to do is split them from here. So that's going to give me 54 degrees. And then we're going to have 144 degrees. An alternative was to find the first one and then just add multiples of 90 to it. So that's one way that you could tackle that question. So all I've done is use this trig identity. Again, you can see it graphically or you can see it using the triangles. An alternative approach to this question would to be now to rewrite tan and cot in terms of sines and cosines. So if we look at this one right here, we can have sine of the angle. So we got sine of theta plus 35 over now cos of theta plus 35. And we can set that to equal now to cos of theta minus 53 degrees. And we put that over sine of zero, uh, sorry, theta minus 53 degrees. So this now is using a different trig identity and putting it in terms of sines and cosines. So if I multiply through by cos of theta plus 35 and sine of theta minus for 53, we're going to have on the left hand side now the sine of theta plus the 35 multiplied by the sine of theta minus 53. And that will be equal now to cos of, and we'll have the theta, let's put that in, the theta plus the 35 multiplied by cos of theta minus 53. If we do a bit of rearranging, now subtracting sine of theta plus 35 multiplied by sine of theta minus 53 from both sides, we could write this now as cos of theta plus 35 degrees multiplied by cos of theta minus 53 degrees minus the sine of 
theta plus 35 degrees multiplied by the sine of theta minus 53 degrees is equal to zero. So let's look at this form right here. Now we can use one of our addition formulae on here. We know that cos of A plus B can be written now as cos A, cos B, and then we'd have minus sine A, sine B. So if I now add these together, what we would have here is simply the cos, I'm writing it out, cos of adding these two together, we're going to have two theta minus 18 degrees, and that will be equal now to zero. So all I've done is gone ahead and used now one of the addition formulae to rewrite this. Okay, so what we can do is take the inverse cosine of both sides. So we can now say two theta minus 18 degrees. So if I take now a cosine, uh, inverse cosine of both sides, that's going to give me 90 degrees. So that now is the principal value for two theta minus 18. If we consider the cosine curve, we can say that two theta minus 18 would be 90 back from 360. So that's going to give me 270. And then we can go ahead and solve. So adding now the 18 to both sides and dividing by 2, we can see that theta is going to be equal to 108 divided by 2, which is 54. And then this one right here, we're going to add now the 18 to both sides and then divide by 2, and theta will give us 144. Alternatively, you could solve for the first one and then go ahead and consider the next one. I prefer to look at it like so, and this will give us now our two solutions in the interval as before. So we can see either way around, we've got now 54 degrees and 144. So using the addition formula or using now an identity for cot and tan, we could do it this way. It is important to remember if you're going this way around that uh, you're going to have these subsequent solutions as the tan curve uh, or tan curve is going to be cycling every 180 degrees. Um, it's often uh, a misconception that if you solve for one, that's the only one. But do consider, and this one may be slightly easier um, in terms of spotting it, but you do have a choice.